Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part B of this other video. I had a couple, I just did a video last night on how to get these four objects um, equally spaced out, and they wanted to know how I got that 45 degree arc. So I just took a two point line, I hit P, put it in the center of the page, control D and make a duplicate and rotate the, du the duplicate 45 degree. Now I've got this section, I'm gonna take my virtual segment delete key, and I'm gonna delete all these other lines that I do not need. And now I've got this arc. So I'm gonna to go to Windows Dockers Properties and click on right here on the curve and it tells me it's 1.6299. So really 1.63 is what I need in length. And if you see this is only uh, 1.34. So I mentioned that I put a rectangle. So I got everything selected. I'm gonna select everything and then hold down the shift key and double click the rectangle tool. But now I'm going to take the rectangle and bring out a calculator. And I've got 13.01.304 divided by the four items, then times five, which will give me five spaces. And it just happens to be 1.63. So I need to make my rectangle 1.63. Then I'm going to group everything. Well, we don't really have to do that. What I really need to do now is take a two point line and put it on each end of my box. Then I'm going to take my rectangle and just move it out of the way. And I'm gonna select these three items. I'm gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, Line and Distribute, and I'm gonna align them from the center. Now these lines are equally spaced out between the two. I can take my lines back out and let's just get rid of the rectangle. So now my Objects are spaced out equally what I need them to be. I'm going to individually take them and hit P on the keyboard to put it in the center. I'm going to bring it up with the holding down the control button. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to put the rotation to the center. And always I check it. And I'm going to rotate this first one 11.25 degrees, which is one quarter of 45, hit P, start moving and hold down the control button. I'm not paying a lot of attention to get it right on the line. Double click on that rotation. You can see I'm using the same one from a smaller circle. I'm not quite there yet. A lot of times Corel does that, it makes it look like it is. But I'm gonna rotate this one, 22.5, which is that same number, hit P, Start moving up, holding down the control button. Double click on it. Get my rotation to the center. I'll check it. I'm gonna rotate this 33.5 degrees. Now I'm gonna bring in my snowflake and just put it up on top now this is the space I needed. So I'm gonna take away my arc. I'm gonna group these. Make sure you get all four. It's gonna tell you it's got four object. Control G, double click on it. Well, actually I need to make a, a duplicate. Control D, put it to the center. Rotate this 45 degrees. Control D change it to 90 because Corel does that. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now those items are equally spaced out apart and they all fit around that arc. And then you can bring in your original circle 
just to kind of prove that it is. So that's why I put a box around it and I got that art by cutting away everything on those lines. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.